Okay, back out on the farm. Just picking up my trail cameras. Get my cards. I'm gonna probably put some more batteries in them. They've been taking plenty of pictures. Uh, just taking a quick look around down the trail and what do I find? Right here. The fox drop-ins. Two months from trapping season. So that's a good sign. I've already found some further down the trail around the corner here. As you can see, everything is growing around me. My soybeans on this side, corn on this side. These trails between the crops, man, they're hot travel ways for the for the canines, the, for the foxes, and the deer too. The deer use them a lot as well, but the foxes really use them. Uh, I think it, it's convenient for them to hunt along the edges of the of the corn. You see, you can just stay in this grass here and mouse all the way along the edge of that. I look for small birds and stuff like that. It's pretty convenient for them. Uh, occasionally, they're going to run across berries and stuff that they'll eat as well. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice setup. And you get tracks like that, and it's easy to see sign on too. But as you seen from my trapping videos last year, not always easy to catch a canine, <laughs> especially a digger. Uh, but we're going to go home and see if, uh, check my trail camera pictures and see what sort of pictures I got, if any. Uh, I did get a picture of a really good buck last time. But uh, out of almost 400 pictures with three cameras out for nearly a month, I only caught one photograph of that deer. So it, it shows you how elusive and uh, how hard they are to see and how hard they are to catch on camera. A deer like that in Pennsylvania deer season is almost like a you know like a state holiday uh, they, they close the schools and everything for the open day deer season and deer season has has a big heritage here and has done for a long long time so nearly everybody deer hunts not everybody traps not everybody you know hunts pheasants not everybody waterfowl hunts but everybody deer hunts so it's, it's hard to get a spot uh, I'm especially on private property that somebody else is not already hunting uh, but yeah deer season uh, here is, is is like I said it's a it's a state holiday so to see a buck of that age and you know, he's gone through probably four or five deer seasons at this point he probably only comes out in the dark uh, especially for gun season there's a two-week gun season here and then you've got a, a, an early archery season before that, and then you have a late archery and late muzzleloader, like a, we have a primitive season for muzzleloader. Uh, so they have that after the regular gun season. So it's a long deer season, and you know the mortality rate on the deer are pretty high. There's, there's over a million deer hunters in the state of Pennsylvania that are at least licensed hunters. There's over a million for sure. Uh, so deer hunting is a big, you know, is a big thing around here. So yeah, to see a buck like that was super, super lucky. Like I said, that that I've been calling them the ghost buck because bucks like that are like ghosts. They they'll appear, you'll get a picture of them, and you will never see a deer like that again for the whole season. What they'll do is they'll hide in a little half acre lot behind somebody's house, and they'll stay in there till it's midnight. They'll come out, they'll chase some does, they'll eat some food, they'll get some water, and by the time daylight comes, they're back in that little half acre wood lot. And they know they don't get any pressure there, and they know they're safe there, and that's that's how they survive. But it's nice to know they do survive. It's it's nice to see them, you know, big deer like that every now and again. You just got to get really lucky, or they, they you know, got to make a dumb mistake out chasing does, uh, you know, to get a to get a shot at one. You just got to be in the right place at the right time. But let's head home and see what we have on these cameras. Okay, here's our first picture. Here we see a fox. Quickly running past the camera. There's another fox running towards the camera this time. Here's the buck from the intro, little six pointer. He was right in front of the camera. Here's that little acorn buck. I've seen him a couple of times in a couple of different places. Has an unusual rack. Oh, here's a nice big buck, big eight pointer here. There's a different buck. This is a smaller six point. There's an, that big eight point again. Coming at the camera. He's a nice buck. There's another buck here. He was moving through. Coming across the trail. There's a nice good condition doe. 
There's a grinner. There he is for Todd Wittenmar. This one's a groundhog we have up here digging holes in the fields. There's our mystery animal, which people had a consensus that it was a black coon. Here's some more does all bunched together. And a unicorn buck. I don't know what happened to his other horn. There's a big old coon traveling on the trail. I haven't recently seen right. coons on this trail. Just set the old trail cameras out one more time. Uh, it's getting pretty close to season opener. Uh, I hunt in 5C that's opening September 16th for archery. Rest of the state is, uh, I believe, September 30th. End of September, very start of October. You can see behind me now that the, uh, the soybeans are out. Deer candy. <laughs> you can see sometimes from standing on the edge of it where they've been pushing through it, where the leaves and stuff are upturned, where they've been in eating it. Actually, you see most of these here, if you look at the tips, they're all eaten off. Sometimes they'll migrate right through the middle of the fields. This field has a mix of corn in it as well. You can see the corn. So it's corn, soybean corn, like in a stripe, because the farms, you know, the farmer rotates the crops and stuff. But you can see here all along the edge, man, all these soybeans have been tipped right off. Same with the corn. They follow the edge of the corn, or they'll stay close to the edge of the woods with the corn, and they'll uh, they'll eat. You know that all of what's around the edge of it and then they can dart back into heavy cover but at night time they'll come out into the open fields and then eat but hopefully we'll see a couple more big bucks uh, for the landowner before season opener see what we catch on the old cameras last human today I just put some more uh, trail cameras out so we're gonna see what, what results we get uh, it's quite a bit of deer activity around here although this is public land so uh, they do get pushed around uh, well, we're gonna see what we see man it is, rain has been terrible here it's like raining every week to and every time it rains it's torrential rain it's like bucketing down you can see behind me here the Trees collapsing, that water gets this little creek here is washing the trees out and uh, they're uprooting. But yeah, completely opposite to last year. Last year was dry, the rivers were dry, the creeks were dry, but not this year. Every week they're loaded, the rivers are flooded. It's been a wet year, I guess. All right, we'll head on and see what we see when the cameras, when I come and check the cameras again. Okay, here's a public land fox quickly running past the camera. And a little doe in the same spot. And another doe. No bucks though, I didn't see any bucks in this spot.